I, oh, it's gonna be, oh my god. It's gonna be a bit of a different video. Oh my god. Today is. Shocking. The 29th. Or 28th of January. If this is the first time you're watching us, hi, my name's Nicola. I own this channel with my sister, Amelia. Oh my god. I'm moving to England on Thursday morning. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just stopped crying. And these last few weeks, I've been very hard. <sighs> As I've had to say goodbye <sighs> to a lot of my friends. <sighs> so basically, I'm moving to England to be a nanny, so I'm going to be living with the family and the contracts for a year um I've never done a holiday away from my parents or family and I'm just freaking out at the moment oh. For New Year's I was in Sydney because we're, my family is originally from Sydney so we were visiting, I was visiting family with my brother and I had to say goodbye to my nana um, and cousins and uncles and aunties and oh. and then I came, I was home for four days and then I had to oh. I had to say goodbye <sighs> to one of my best friends, Eloise, because um, she was going, she's currently on holidays in Europe, uh, so I had to say goodbye to her, <sighs> and then we went camping for two weeks with the family, and then I had to say goodbye to another one of my friends that I've gone kind of close with recently and his family <sighs> it's just gonna be like a lot of crying I don't want to like make this look like it's easy because it's not easy <sighs> document this process of me leaving and the emotions that I'm feeling I want to try and once I've moved I want to try and upload a video every week or every two weeks just telling you how I'm going and what's been happening how I've been feeling just like everything if anyone has any questions I can answer those um so there's are gonna be a lot of emotional moments these next few videos or months and um today was really hard <sighs> yesterday I said goodbye to Rupert <sighs> I love that boy so much <laughs> On Saturday the 26th, it was Australia Day and I had a party slash farewell thing and I had to say, um, I cried a lot that night, um, if you've somehow seen photos of me from that night, my 
I had so much makeup on and there was like nothing left on my face by the end of the night. I just cried so much. Um, Rupert and I had a moment towards the end of the night where we were just hugging each other and crying and Rupert never cries so it was... <sighs> even though I was very very drunk <laughs> I can remember that I don't remember much from that night but that's one thing I will always remember <sighs> and so I had to say goodbye to him yesterday that was sad <laughs> It's a Monday, it's about 3 p.m. or just nearly in this morning. I had to say goodbye to Rupert because him and my sister have left to go to Asia for five weeks today. So I wasn't gonna see Rupert again. So I had to say goodbye to him yesterday. And Today, this morning, I had to say goodbye to my sister. <sighs> that was really hard. <sighs> my sister's like my best friend. <laughs> my, my best friend. We <laughs> don't always get on, but <laughs> I'm gonna miss her. <sighs> and then this afternoon, I had to say goodbye. My best friend Lily. <sighs> we got matching tattoos today. That's a little reminder of each other. <laughs> so I'm gonna miss her. It's just, I didn't think it was possible to cry this much. I just. <sighs> I haven't been able to stop. <sighs> Um, Lily and I went into the city, we got matching tattoos, and then we hung out, and then I bought some presents for the family. And then we came home and I had to say goodbye. Then I kind of just lay on Millian's bed and just cried. So this is not easy. I, th I feel like a lot of people think just being able to pack up your life and just move to another country and leave everyone you know behind it's not easy I haven't started packing and I leave Thursday morning so I need to pull myself together so oh. Rupert always sings when he comes over and plays my guitar just came on before and I just I lost it, I just couldn't stop crying. Everyone's probably switched off if anyone's still watching this because me crying is not a pretty sight. But the farewells just don't get easier. I know it's going to be worth it, but uh, bloody hell. I'm wearing the necklace, a matching necklace that I got my sister and I for Christmas. Miss it. Okay, I'm gonna go, just gonna start packing. Sorry, I've been such a mess. I thought I'd check back in now that I'm not a mess and you can see what I usually look like. Um, it's about five o'clock, four o'clock sometime, I don't know. I've just been smashing out my packing. Um, because as I said before, I have done nothing, so. It's bloody difficult packing your life away. Um, this is without socks, underwear, makeup. I've got the other checking bag over there. I've got two jackets up there that I still haven't packed. Figuring out what I'm going to wear to the airport over here. I'm worried I'm going to forget something and then I'm worried I've overpacked, but like you can never be too sure. It's like it's another country, so I want to make sure, but then I'm gonna buy stuff. So it's like I'm flying with Emirates and they allow 30 kilos check in, which is good. It's an extra 10 kilos, love that, which is one of the reasons I flew with them because they give you the extra baggage. Um, 
Got all the shoes in here, got some gifts, got gifts to the family in here. But yeah, that's the update. Oh, I'll show you my tattoo. Um, there's my new tattoo. It's a matching tattoo Lily and I got. Lily got hers on her arm and she got two tattoos today, so... I now have three, and Lily had none, and now she has two, so she's basically caught up to me. Um, are you guys proud of me? I've said Lily's name without crying. Last clip, couldn't do that. <laughs> it's an improvement. Um, yeah, it's a bit sad just like seeing all the stuff in my room that I won't be able to take with me, and sucks. A lot of my friends have been posting Instagrams and tagging me in them and saying goodbye and stuff which has been nice. I'm still in denial about it, pretty much. And don't know if TMI or not, but I got my period today and it's kind of terrible timing because I have to deal with that on the plane, which is just not fun. And that's another like added reason why I'm so emotional because my body is just like, <laughs> So that's fun. Um, yeah. We'll check back with you later. I've just woken up. It's about 8 o'clock. And I'm off to get my hair done. Because if I've never really mentioned it, but if you watch our old videos on my channel, you've probably noticed that my hair changes a lot. And that's because I. I've never really liked my hair, but I finally, finally convinced myself to cut it short. Um, October, I think it was, and go a bit blonder. It was the best decision I made. So today I'm getting it. Oh my god, that toes made me jump. I'm getting it trimmed and recolored again, just so it's nice before I leave. Hi. Every day is a roller coaster of emotions. Every day I wake up and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> I just kind of have moments where it hits me that I leave in two days. Like <laughs> yesterday I was in the city with Lily and I was like Wow, I'm never just going to be able to, like, get a train to the city in Melbourne ever again. Like, just things like that where it kind of hits where you're like, I've said like way too many times in this sentence. You know what I mean? Everything that you become familiar with and everything that's comfortable to you goes. <laughs> it's just unfamiliar I mean it's not completely unfamiliar I've been to London like three times which I'm very grateful for but the suburb that I'm moving to I'd never been I've never been to before so it's still in that sense new so it's freaky <laughs> just things like oh, I saw a funny photo or I saw a video and I wanted to show Amelia but she's not next door which kind of Oh my god, don't want to start crying about that again. Like, oh my god. Um, so yeah, it just hits at different points. And it sucks. I wanted to have a chat to Sam Smith because his song, I'm Way Too Good at Goodbyes. How? Teach me your ways because goodbyes suck. I hate them. Don't want to do them. Don't want to have to face it. I know there's that that famous quote that says, "I'm lucky to have so many things and people that make saying goodbye so hard." And I do I do realize that I'm very lucky how close my family is, especially my sister and I. Like yesterday, we just were crying so much because we didn't want to say goodbye to each other. And then saying goodbye to Lily and Eloise and everyone that I've said goodbye to. It's been emotional. 
like it's never been easy so I am very grateful that it's always been like that it's not always been like that that's a lie I've struggled for a long time with friends I've never had that many friends um but I'm so grateful for having all these people now that I sadly have to like leave behind and it sucks but I know I need to do this for me and this is the first time in 21 years of my life that I've been selfish <laughs> like fully selfish I never do this I never do something for myself I never put me first and I know that's terrible and if you're watching this and you're like me please do something for you like please I know it's gonna be hard but you need to do it for yourself for you to grow as a person I know it's easier said than done this is taking me 21 years to do something that I've always wanted to do ever since I was about eight years old I wanted to move to England always always wanted to move to England and then we went to Europe for the first time when I was in year nine and I loved it you know how like some places you can have such high expectations when you go there it's not as good I had that with Paris I'm not really a big fan of Paris but I went to England and I realized like oh I don't think you'll like it because like you've so you're so wanting to go there that it's just not going to live up to what you want went there it was even better than I expected <laughs> And I was like, this is bad, because now I really want to move here. And then we went and spent a Chris family Christmas in England, which I was like, yes, this is great. This little t cottage village area is beautiful. I want to do this. This is cute. And then that didn't help. And then two years ago, we went to Europe again. And then my sister and I spent two weeks in England, just the two of us. And I was, that was when it kind of was like, okay, I can do this. I'm f comfortable with England. I think I can do this. Fast forward a year later, and here we are. If you have a dream, you have a goal, you have something you want to achieve, I'm telling you this now. The only way you're going to achieve it is if you write it down. Every step that you need to do, everything you need to complete, write it down. Maybe we should do another video on that. Like, last year, while I was still doing my childcare course, Dad was like, okay, do you, are you serious about moving to England and being a nanny? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, write down the steps, write down everything you need to do, everything you need to get, how much money you need to save, write it all down. Give yourself a goal and then every time you achieve something tick it off like from that point on i'd had it written down and i was like okay i know i knew what i needed i didn't keep forgetting i was saving so much money i've never saved so much money if someone told me my 14 year old self <laughs> save half of what you're paying now getting paid now i would have so much money like I could move, I could live in an apartment in the city. So if you're younger than me and watching this and you have a job and you're struggling to save and you still live at home, obviously it's harder if you've moved out. If you're still living at home, put half of it away. Because at the end of the day, you're still gonna get paid again. It helps you to not spend as much money, helps you keep in check and it helps you feel so good every time you get paid. You're like, oh yes, how much is my savings up to now? I've got to go soon. But it's 35 in Melbourne today, 35 degrees. What is the temperature in London? One degrees. So it is like 33 degrees colder. <laughs> I'm in a dress. Can't wear this for a long time from one extreme to another. That's cold. And they don't have daylight savings there like we do because it's summer here. So like the sun goes down at nine o'clock here. Dad was saying yesterday the sun sets at like 4 p.m. If you have any questions about how I got this nanny job, like anything that you want to ask, 
feel free to leave them in the comments below or tweet me hit me up the q a answering all of your questions because honestly it's so interesting a nanny or au pair or mother's help is so popular in england and america like it is massively sought after especially if, if you're australian they for some reason always want australians so if you really do love children and you're a patient person or maybe you work in childcare or you want to push yourself and move to another country and then <coughs> have this amazing incredible opportunity go for it research it a bit or ask if you need any help ask me questions and we can figure it out together seriously the family that i'm going to be living with they just seem so lovely and i'm just as much as i'm so sad to leave i am excited deep down i haven't let myself be excited about it which might be a bad thing i haven't really figured it out the closer it's got the more i've been like hmm like Maybe not, like, freaked out, freaking out way more than I've been excited. Maybe I'll show you what my hair looks like later when I get back. Um, we're having Amelia's made it to Singapore, which is good. Don't want to talk about that too much because I'll start crying again. I'm going to go see the new Mary Poppins because that's going to be me when I move to England. We've just got home from going out for dinner in the last time with the family going out for dinner and then we went and saw the new Mary Poppins which was actually really good. I love Emily Blunt so wasn't disappointed. Obviously it's not the original but like will it ever be the original? I had a few moments while watching Mary Poppins when it hit me that all those years ago, young old, young little Nicola, naive, innocent Nicola, watching Mary Poppins about a nanny in England, and then a light bulb went off. I was like, maybe that's kind of like where it all started. Such a weird time for the new Mary Poppins to come out as I'm about to move to England to be a nanny and obviously if you've seen Mary Poppins Mary Poppins is a nanny in England <laughs> um, so it was a bit of a an emotional movie for me to say the least especially when she says goodbye to the children which isn't a spoiler not all, if you've seen the original she always has to say goodbye in the end when the time's right and that got me a bit emotional. My last night in my bed. I'm really gonna miss it. You don't like think about stuff like this when you plan this trip and then the little things like your bed, my photo wall, that's not exactly that well looked after. But I'm still gonna miss it and all the memories of all the posters I've had on it over the years. I'm just gonna miss my room. It's just gonna be weird. It's gonna be Make squishy 2.0 is gonna help me get through this. It's gonna be my cuddle buddy for all the tough times. Next 36 hours are just gonna be a mission and a half. I have to officially finish packing. <laughs> I've gotta get shampoo and stuff and all toiletries and makeup everything packed and I found out I can't pay extra for my guitar because it's like another five hundred dollars <laughs> to have another ten kilos five hundred dollars so yeah Amelia's been keeping us updated she's in Singapore it sounds like she's having a good fun it's very hot and humid there unlike England but yeah I've Back to the Mary Poppins thing, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend seeing it. Or the original, if you've not seen the original. Sorry if I spoil anything. Um, it's just a really good feel-good movie and love Emily Blunt. 
Meryl Streep's also in it. Love her. Colin Firth. Love him. So, a lot of my favourite people were in it. So, it was just lovely. And I'm not excited for the next coming hours. I'm taking you along on this journey because for all my family or friends that are watching back home, I want you to be able to see what I'm going through and like see this journey with me when you're watching this. I'm in England so I miss everyone already. I miss everyone already and I haven't even left yet. <laughs> um, so together we can get through this. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself at least, and I've just got to not overthink it, just got to take it day by day, but it's about like quarter past eleven and I need my beauty sleep because I don't think I'm going to get much sleep for the next few days, so I'll see you in a, probably an emotional state, we'll find out. <laughs>